You made it. Excellent. Now hand over the sigil stone. Ah, so this is the sigil stone they've been talking about. Such unholiness. Give me a minute. The tank's nearly rigged. Soon, we'll be able to get it to blast. This might take a while. Maybe we can use this time to discuss what to do afterwards. Once I finish rigging it, you'll walk out of here using the same logistic excuse. I will sneak out from the kitchen. We'll have to be very quick because the tank will blow up in less than three minutes. I hope I'm not being optimistic. Perhaps we have less than two minutes. Ah, this tank. It's quite sturdy. In case we don't make it out of here alive, I want you to know you did a fantastic job. I'm a hard man to impress, and I think you're the best I've ever seen. If we get out of here alive, find me at the stables outside of... Spies are at the field depository. Barricade the entrance. Get all the men over here. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't believe this. Is that you? You're back. I thought you were killed 12 years ago. Snodman, you devious traitor. Last 12 years I've been wondering what I was going to do to you when you appeared in front of me again. <laughs> I guess we'll have to do it. broken. Go to Helena's room and get the replacement. She used to steal those from the stock room. She's got to have spare ones in her dormitory. Hurry, this place will get swarm very soon. I'll buy you some time.
こんな感じだな。Did you hear something? Get the tool. Bad news. Snoutman damaged the fuel tank. The moment I activate it, it'll instantly blow. You are going to run. I'll give you three minutes before I do it. What about me? Just go. Someday you'll have your moment to die as a hero, but not today. Come on, get out of here.
よし Failing to resurrect the mythic dawn of the Third Era, the remnants crumbled and became no more than a traveling merchant's tale. It told the story of a martyr who walked out of Dagon's fortress in his wake, ambitions and dreadful dreams perished, and with them, the dawn into dust. The man who started the reunion of the remnants and followers of Mehrun's Dagon, Dalamus Adathan, so called Prophet of Destruction, now lies dead in the realm of the void that he once promised as a paradise. The martyr showed mercy upon the defenseless. Despite Helano's alignment with Mythic Dawn, she was spared her lifelong dream. To live outside of the cavern, Helano drifted from place to place, seeing and experiencing on her own. She also started a new cult to worship Mehrun's Dagon, following the footsteps of her uncle Dalamus Adathan. However, her work couldn't last, not because of lack of knowledge or ability to attract new followers, but a new group. A fanatical and merciless monks have appeared in Skyrim with self-proclaimed title Guardians of Merciful Forbearance. In the name of Stendar and to preserve his merciful will, these monks ruthlessly assassinated any and all who appeared to follow the Daedra. Their bloody operations did not go unnoticed. Volumu had secretly gathered the information of the slaughters and butchering done by these guardians before he joined that order. He was not surprised to learn that his name made it onto their list for eradication. Deciding not to test them, he made to move to a much more secure place. Before he left Hawker's place, he sent a letter to the martyr. Whether he was truly on the side of righteous might or not, his intentions and identity will have to unfold in another chapter. Meanwhile, Lorbul Bogad went to the shrine of Stenda in Winterhold. He slowly approached the altar and spoke a word of appreciation to the deity for looking over his life. Lorbul explained to Irbrand how he lives and by whom he was saved. Then he revealed what really happened twelve years ago. Before departing, he left a small token of his appreciation inside Urbrand's stash, hoping the martyr who saved his life would make a good use of it. A beginning is only the start of a journey to another beginning. As the martyr walked out of the collapsed cavern, she proceeded on her next journey. The greatest and longest journey, the journey inward, to walk the path assigned for an agent of righteous might.